The season of Lent calls each one of us to repentance. We begin the season of Lent with Ash Wednesday, reminding us of our need to change. And today we want to focus one aspect of that journey in the season of Lent. It is about the sin of pride. The Catechism of the Catholic Church talks about pride as one of the seven deadly sins. And you may wonder why. Why is that a deadly sin? Simply because we put ourselves at the center of everything and not God. Because pride is about the self, about the ego, about the individual. If you look into our own lives, we realize that many often that we forget God in when times are good. We forget the blessings that we receive and we only want to run to God when we are in trouble. You know, and when we, when we look for something, when we want some prayers answered, we run to God. And that is pride because we put our trust, we put our confidence in our own abilities, in our own talents, in our own gifts. Yes, those are indeed God's blessings. But we also need to see how we can put God at the center of our lives so that our lives revolve around Him, that God becomes the anchor of our lives. And when we put God at the center of everything, then we acknowledge the greatness of God, the glory of God. And that is what we are called to in this season of Lent, to put God at the center. Whatever we are doing, whether it is prayer, whether it is fasting, whether it is some form of uh, reaching out to people, we want to acknowledge that God is the center of all things. And we can start by recognizing the goodness of God, our, our reliance on God for all things. Sometimes we forget God in the simplest or the smallest of things. But when we begin to recognize, look around us, open our eyes, open our ears, and we recognize God's blessings, that is putting God at the center of all things. So when we look at pride, dear friends, let's look, let's turn to God. Let's put our own selves before God in humbly acknowledging our reliance, our dependence on God. So I would like to invite you in this season of Lent when our focus is to light up the light so that, you know, to be able to, to recognize that, that God is at the center and to be able to share the blessings that God has given to each one of us. So take a moment, pause for a while, look around you and I would say count your blessings. Look at the small things, the simplest of things, the daily things that we forget to recognize the presence of God when we begin to recognize those little things where God is at work, we challenge the sin of pride. We work towards pushing pride out of ourselves and we recognize God at the center of all things. I wish you a good journey of Lent so that we can work together to give glory to God, to recognize His blessings and to share that with one another.